Războiul văzut din interior arată o imagine mult mai dură. Armata rusă bombardează orice, orice este o țintă pentru soldații lui Putin. Spitale, maternități, școli, grădinițe. Urmele războiului se văd peste tot. Ce impresionează este forța celor care au rămas să lupte pentru Ucraina. Urmăriți în continuare un reportaj BBC și vă atenționăm imagini care vă pot afecta emoțional. This is what people have been fleeing in Kharkiv. Endless bombardment for the past two weeks. Our administration would like to inform you that a fire has started in the building. Of that reason, please go to the ground floor and from there leave the building. This is what Russia does to cities. It bombards them. It besieges them. It surrounds them. It terrorizes entire populations. And if these tactics are unfamiliar to you, then you haven't been paying attention. Because this is the Russian attack playbook, perfected in over 10 years of war in Syria. Dar nici ucrainenii nu se lasă mai prejos. Un soldat arată ce armamentă ține în port bagaj. It's a grenade launcher. British. But it's more than just a grenade launcher. It's a guided missile. Is it good against tanks? It's uh, the best we have right now. How are the Russians fighting? They're fighting like soldiers of 1941. Uh, they attacking just like in front. Now they don't do any maneuvers. So. Yeah, they have a lot of people, have a lot of ta tanks, a lot of their vehicles and techniques, but uh, we fight in our land and uh, we protect our families, so it doesn't matter how they fight. We fight like lions and they won't win. Here at the city's hospital number four, they keep the wounded in hallways, away from the windows. These stupid Russian shrapnel pieces, I will carry all my life. But as long as my heart still beats, I will still live and love. Head to the very eastern edge of Ukraine and a ghostly vision of the country's fate unfolds before you. The city of Kharkiv is being purged of life. In near total blackout, the police in the country's second largest city take us on patrol. The Russians aren't far. This close to the Russian border, they're on the lookout for another threat here. Saboteurs. No one escapes scrutiny. Alina, 76 years old, is lost and confused. In an instant, everybody's life here has been upended. Peste 2 milioane și jumătate de ucraineni și-au părăsit țara de când a început războiul. 